minus 5. Yeah, is not uh, what's correct, right? Earth here, 24th of October 2025. Yeah, okay. So, okay, I just added what information and your name is. Okay. Okay. So, as you may or may not know, I am one of the chameleons and I am a doctor chameleon. I am not on any side. I haven't taken the side of neither the main chameleons nor the yogi chameleons. And given the current ceasefire, it really doesn't matter either. So as you may or may not be aware, a terrible plague or pandemic has broken out across the chameleon world, which is also essentially the reason for the current ceasefire. <sighs> now, Earth and humanity has as of yet to be informed of these developments, mostly because we hope that this virus or bacteria cannot transfer to humans, at least that's our hope. <sighs> Already half of the chameleons have been infected and we are afraid the same could happen to humanity if this proves to be a cross-species bacteria that's why I want to check it today because you are a human and I want to make sure and you spend a lot of time with the chameleons so if there's someone who could have a high risk of having gotten this bacteria it is you it is you so we have to check you today to be certain. That's also why there's been so strict protocols. And why we can't let you out of the facility as a facility yet. Because if you have it, we can't risk you contaminating other humans on planet Earth. So I know what a few years ago there was a pandemic on your world. Which only affected humans. But trust me when I say, if this thing which is going on right now, starts to affect you humans. It will be much, much worse than that. It could, at first, destroy half of humanity. So we have to be certain, considering the current crisis, but this does not spread to humans. So, uh, the human authorities are aware uh, of the situation with the chameleons right now. And uniquely, the rogue and main chameleons are working together to develop a cure. And that's also why there's been some military activity and uh, some random curfews and stuff like that on your word. Because the, the human authorities are preparing in case this starts to spread to human beings. But I've babbled enough now, it's time to check you. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to shine a flashlight and use it across the walls. Use the shapes of the flashlight across the walls and the pictures and you're going to follow the flashlight with your eyes because this particular bacteria can be seen on a particular strain in the eye. So if you have it, we should see it very quickly. But before we do that, uh, I'm just going to check you gently. By the way, you don't need to worry about me having the bacteria. Uh, we have advanced scanners here at the chameleon facility for us chameleons, able to scan the chameleon's bodies very easily. And I've been cleared. And so there's no danger, and my hands are completely clean. We, yeah, I've washed it a lot of times and used advanced hygienic scanner technologies on it. We're very, very certain it's clean. So I'm not going to get too close to you, but uh, before we do the flashlight thing, just relax by the way. I'm just going to check. Check. Okay. Relax and calm down, most likely you're fine. This is just a precaution, remember that. Okay. Good. I'm going to 
going to do some more checkups afterwards. I'm going to poke your face with what looks like an ordinary pen, but is actually more advanced technology than it looks like. We chameleons have learned to adapt human technology and items quite well. So you can see the pictures on the wall. Some of them anyhow are a little feminine. Uh, there's a reason for that. You see the previous uh, chameleon doctor was a woman and I haven't been able to redecorate yet. Redecorate yet. But maybe I'll find it soothing and relaxing. Okay, so quite a powerful flashlight we're going to use here. So, follow. Follow that shape on the wall with your eyes for me, please. Yeah. So we're going to move it across that plant a little. That strange plant from the chameleon somewhere. Not a pleasant plant, by the way. And then we're moving out up to the flourish. The weird flourish. And over to the verts. The beautiful verts fell out the flashlight with the eyes. I'm moving it. Some random circular shapes for you to follow. Circular shapes for you to follow. There you go, there you go. And now some wave the buttons, wave the buttons. No, you're kidding? Huh? Okay, okay, sorry. Wow. It 
turns out there's been a massive uh, outbreak of this bacteria in the chameleon capital so we've cordoned off and, and closed down entire districts and apparently there's military vehicles and people in suits rolling into the districts right now closing them down oh my god it's bad really bad yeah well hopefully your earth will not be impacted by this so i have to do a few more checks here is it is it okay for you if i just go a little around and behind you just to check your neck and stuff because at least on us chameleons, uh, when this bacteria touches, uh, it creates these green sort of shells on the neck. So if you don't have those, I'd say that's a very good sign. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Good, good. Yep. I don't see any such thing on your neck. It looks good. Yeah, 
obvious to know because there's so much happening with this situation but uh, there's lots of work for us doctors right now you know we we've suddenly become because of this situation we've become the most important people in the chameleon society you know okay yeah okay so this is a squishy thingy and you may wonder what this is well this is something we the chameleon doctors have been working on ever since this situation began in april uh, as far uh, yeah right because it began six months ago in april and ever since we worked on a cure we haven't been able to develop a full-scale cure yet but we've been able to develop this ball and inside this ball is the fragments the early beginnings of what could be a cure and you may wonder why we need you for that well there's this theory that parts of the human uh, skin sort of or parts of the human breath can be an essential part of the cure relax there, there's nothing painful that's going to happen right now i'm not going to peel your face or anything like that don't worry uh, but i will ask you to just listen to and breathe into this i need your breath and then hopefully this ball will sort of so much now some sounds are coming out of it so much for breathing in the ball. I believe you've helped us find a cure. I'm just going to do some additional shake back. Okay, good. And good. Stand still, please. You've been so cooperative and great during the exam today. I appreciate it. Good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm neat. Okay, sorry. I have to go. I'm needed, you know. There's a full-scale situation going on here, as you know, for us chameleons. It seems promising. Uh, I can tell you, you're not contaminated. Hopefully, that means that humans are immune and can't get this. So, uh, let's hope that, that you know, there's a full-scale uh, situation right now uh, for us chameleons. So, I have to go. The, the, the team is expecting me to uh, help them develop a cure, you know. And the president's life may depend on it. The chameleon president's life, anyway. Okay. Well, got to go. Uh, wish you the best. Uh, hope you stay immune. And, well, I hope that um, your word stays safe. Thank you for, uh, thank you for uh, consenting to this and for not 